guys, Cindy out of here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. It's morning. I'm still working on my coffee. And I don't know if you guys have ever had these. They're called Stroop Waffles. Stroop Waffles? They're with caramel. Oh my God. You talk about, they are so good with coffee. Oh uh, yeah, yummy. Anyways, <laughs> just gave you my little morning energy tip there. All right, so today we're going to be working on our ABCs with chronic pain. Um, and what are we up to? We are up to the R. So I'm sure we can find a lot of words when it comes to the R. I pulled out these papers. I kind of like this paper. This has an extra piece of tape on it. I'm just going to tear off don't need that on there and um, all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna talk about our R's so the first words oh I was hoping I could make this it's not quite long enough all right so we're just gonna have to play with this a little bit um, the first thing we're gonna talk about are the um, the negative R's or the bad R's or I'm not sure how you want to put it uh, and the very first one that annoys the crap out of me uh, is restrictions. I I don't do well <laughs> with restrictions. Um, I do, don't do well being told, no, you can't do that today. Well, I want to do that today, you know? So restrictions is a hard one for me. Um, I don't like having restrictions. I never have. I'm, I'm just not a good person to put restrictions on. Hey, let's just do that. We're going to do this right here. And then we're just going to cut around it. So, yeah, restrictions are hard. Um, when it comes to this type of a chronic pain, let's see, what kind of restrictions do I have? Um, I can't walk very far. Uh, if I do, that's not saying I physically cannot walk. I physically can walk. Um, but what's going to happen is I will be in so much pain I won't be able to walk. And my left leg will actually start um, dragging behind me. So when I say I can't walk, it's not that I physically can't do it. I can't do it because of the pain. It just it makes the pain excruciating. So that's one of my restrictions. I can't sit for a long time. Um, if I sit for too long, the pain just, my left leg throbs so bad, um, that I, I just can't, I can't tolerate it. All right. So there's another restriction, uh, lifting things. At this point, I am able to lift anything under five pounds. Um, if I lift more than that, I can do more damage to my back which I prefer not to because I have enough damage back there as it is. I don't think that was the right exact spot. That's all right. I got my hole in there. Uh, let's see. You know, it, when it comes to doing household chores, like, for example, vacuuming. Vacuuming is very, very difficult because of the angle that it puts on your back. So I have a hard time doing that. Uh, what else is there? Um, doing dishes. If you ever notice, when you stand doing dishes, you almost have to stand kind of at an angle, which is like a bent angle, and it just it's really weird. So um, dishes will hurt my back. Uh, driving a long way, and actually I should change that up. If I'm driving, I can actually drive a little bit further than I can ride. And I think part of that is, is I'm when you're driving, you have to stay in such a certain position. And I think that's, um, you know, a huge help. Look at this. It's upside down. I don't care. All right. Let's see what else we're going to get put on this. Um, let me pull some stuff out and I'll be right back. So I pulled out a bunch of goodies and I'm just going to play while I chit chat. So, yeah, the first one, like I said, we talked about is restrictions and it's, it's really, really difficult. Um, it's almost like uh, you go from a freedom to 
um, a prison. I don't really want to call it a prison, but you go from a freedom to not being able to have that same amount of freedom. And it's difficult. I actually had a friend of mine um, the other day made a comment that she was born with a disability and she can't imagine what it would be like to not be born with a disability and then have the disability thrown on you. Um, and it is, it's a very difficult journey to take, but you know what, as humanity, we're strong, we can do it. You know, there's, there's many, one of the ways I have to look at it is there's many, many, many more people out there in a lot worse shape than I am. So I'm grateful for every little bit I do have. Um, I pulled out some just, this is actually ugly scrapbook paper that I've been doing some jelly printing on a while back. I pulled out some odds and ends stuff, um, some more of this burlap, another piece of this punchella, some map, um, piece of an envelope. So I'm just going to play around with this. It doesn't go here. I'm going to play around with this stuff. So what's our next one? Our next, um... Our next R word, pardon me, I'm, <clears throat> is um, resentment. Oh, that's huge, 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 huge. How many of you, and I know you're all sitting there shaking your heads going, yep, yep, yep. You just resent the fact that things that you could go and do before you can't do anymore. And it just, it. To put it in plain English, it pisses you off. <laughs> you get very upset. And you know what? You have every reason, you have every right to get upset. Um, but you also have to work through that resentment. Um, sometimes, you know, it's like, you know, your friends won't call you to go do something because they know that you have the issues, right? So, yeah, do you resent that? Yeah, I do. I resent the fact that, you know, if somebody wants to go to a concert or somebody wants to go somewhere and, you know, they don't ask me, whereas in the olden days, it would be like, hey, you want to go along? Absolutely. So, yeah, there's that certain amount of resentment there, and I don't think that's ever going to change. Um, I think the biggest thing, though, is to understand how to get through it and how to deal with it. So the way I get through it and the way I deal with it is I just, you know, I look at it that, you know, that's it's their loss. Um, I am just going to enjoy what I can of my life and not worry about it. You know, I can't. There's nothing you can do to change those people that are not going to include you in future things. Um Sometimes I can understand they don't want to be burdened with it. So, you know what? It is what it is, right? There's nothing we can do to change it, so we need to just learn how to live with it. And that's what we're doing. Every day, we learn. We learn how to live with... I don't know if I really like this on here. Well, maybe a little piece. Let's do a small piece. Um... You know, every day I have to learn how to live with my illness and with the illness, with the, the chronic pain, um, comes all of these different feelings and, and emotions and things that happen that you just have to learn how to deal with. Um, what I tend to do when I get in one of those modes where I'm just resenting everything and everybody is I will get out my journal. And trust me, whoever reads my journals, when I'm long gone, they're going to understand exactly what I felt about everything and everybody. And you know what? That's okay. I'm human. I'm allowed to have those feelings. I'm allowed to feel that disappointment. I'm allowed to, um, you know, I don't want to say be upset, but be upset. I'm allowed to, right? Um, do I think that they're doing it maliciously? No. No. Uh, do I think that they just don't think? Yeah, that's what I think. I think they just don't realize how it hurts. And, you know, it's okay. We will get through this. Life goes on. Um, you know, I deal with it. I deal with things daily. So, And I write in my journal daily, which is the best thing I could ever do. So that's resentment. Um... 
Let's see, another question we have, or another R word we have is rasping. And when I say rasping, um, I don't know how to explain the, the rasping that I feel. It's almost like, uh, I can't think. Um, <laughs> sorry, my I got fibro fog going on, ladies. <laughs> Today's my day for fibro fog. I'm trying to figure out how I want to put this in here. I want to make it a little bit bluer. Um, you know, rasping, some of the rasping could come from just uh, whether it be your lungs and you have, having issues with your lungs or, um, you know, sometimes the pain that goes down my leg, it feels like somebody's basically taking a rasp up and down the backs of my legs. So, I mean, there's several different ways to um, look at the rasping. Um, but I don't know why I ended up putting that word on there. So that's another R word. Um, let me move this stuff aside. I have a phone book over here. You guys can't see it's over there that I just, I like to do this kind of inking and stuff on. That way it doesn't get all over my desk and all over every project I'm working on. I just kind of wanted to break this up a little bit. See if that works a little better. It's still too white for me. I like this because I want to put restrictions in here because yeah that's sometimes that's exactly how you feel with those restrictions. Should I just do half? Let's do half. Yeah let's just do half. We're gonna put our restrictions in there. Wish I could do more into that plastic but I can't. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. So yeah, we have our, our rasping. Now, another word, it actually goes on the other side, but I'm gonna put it on this side as well, and that is real. We have to understand and realize that all of this is real. Some people don't understand it, meaning some of our friends, family, co-workers, whatever the case may be, they don't get it. But for us, it is real. Um, the pain is real. It's not in your head. Um, it's something that we have to work on every day to live through. And, you know, something like that, that's about as real as it gets, right? I'm going to change this. I don't like that white on there. I want to put it more green. So we're just going to use some washi tape. Make it look more green. So yeah, um, real is huge. You, you, It's real. What you're living is real. Um, hopefully we can get people that, you know, around us that understand that it's real. It's never going to change for us. Um, and just deal with it. All right, so I've got that on there. Now, I'm, I don't know why I'm into this pocket mode. So now I wanna take, I'm gonna take some of this ugly scrap of paper I've got here. And I just wanna cut some strips out of it. I'm gonna cut some long ones. Yeah, um, you know, just so you guys know, everything that I'm telling you is something that I experience and something, it, it's my opinion. I am not a psychologist. I'm not um, trained for therapy. I am just telling you what my, I like those better, um, experience is living in chronic pain. This is what's happened to me over the last six years. Um, I, I really hope that whoever is, is watching this understands that um, this is strictly my opinion. And this is how I've felt and how I've had to deal with things. So I'm actually going to put these right in here. So we're going to put our words on here. So the first one is restriction. And I think my Sharpie's gone. And it is. Bye-bye, Sharpie. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. 
Sorry, I always do that when I lose a pen. <laughs> All right, restriction. That's one. The next one is resentment. Grasping. And I'm going to do a fourth one, which is real. I really hope, um, you guys, if you're doing your tags, I would love to see what you're doing. So definitely don't forget to share them with me in my Facebook group. Um, it's Art Play Through, T-H-R-U, Chronic Pain. Um, I would love to see what you guys are doing. Okay, and this one is real. We have to keep it real. All right? All right, so there's our R's. And what I wanna do is I wanna put them right in here. Restrictions, real, resentment, and rasping. And there is our backside for our R's. All right, let's look at our front side. Let's look at some good, 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 good words. What do we have? All right, we have quite a few. Um, the first one is routine. Uh, one of the things that I've found um, living in chronic pain is that it's much easier to deal with the pain when I have a routine. If I have, you know, a normal time I get up in the morning, a normal time I go to bed at night, um, a certain amount of exercise, um, make sure I take my medications on time and, you know, when I need to, all of that routine um, will help me to keep my pain um, not gone, but it helps keep it in check, I think is the word I'm looking for. So I think, again, my personal opinion, I think a routine is um, definitely paramount when it comes to chronic pain. Get yourself into a routine. Um, even if you don't feel like getting out of bed that morning, you still have to do it. Get up, get yourself in the shower, brush your teeth, comb your hair. I mean, it's all part of a normal life, right? So we're all looking for that routine portion of our day. All right, I'm going to dry this real quick, and then I have to figure out what I'm going to do on this side. So let me dry it, and I'll be back. Right, guys, I'm sitting here chit-chatting away, and I'm like, oh, I look up, my camera's not on. <laughs> All right, so we were talking about um, routine. Like I said, it, I feel it's very, very, very important. Um, we also have um, ready, uh, which means we need to be ready to deal with the pain when we have it really bad. We can do it. It takes time. It takes um, commitment to get ready to have everything you need. Um, make sure you've got ice in the freezer for your ice machine. Um, you know, make sure you've got some uh, Netflix lined up for uh, those binge days when you're having such a really bad day. Um, there's so many different things that you can do to ready yourself. What about making sure that you have um, maybe an art journal hand nearby that you can um, either doodle in or maybe you've got a coloring book that you can color some pages for your next art project. Um, anything like that will get you ready and in more of a mental state prepared to deal with the pain and to deal with the pain management. So I have, um, I actually have a, an art cart out by my couch that I only, I have a journal out there that I only work on when I'm on the couch. And you know, I, sometimes I look forward to it. I look forward to sitting down and just playing in that journal and just relaxing. And um, that's another word that we have is relax. I know sometimes it's really, really hard for us to say, okay, yeah, I'm relaxing. And the reason being is because we're doing, we feel like, okay, again, I'm talking about myself. Sometimes I feel like that's all I do all day, every day is relax. 
So, you know, sometimes I feel guilty about going out on the couch and relaxing. Well, you know what? We can't. We have to do it for our chronic pain. We have to do it for ourselves. It's just part of what we have to deal with at this point in time. It's part of our life. We need to accept it. So, um, you know, being ready, being able to relax, having a routine. Um, and you need to be reasonable. You need to understand that it's okay. It's okay to have, um, to be able to, to, for you to need to relax. It, it's reasonable due to what is wrong with your body for you to be able to um, take that time and just take that downtime because you need it, right? So that is being reasonable. You need to be reasonable with yourself. And the last thing I'm going to say about the R's is you need to keep it real, right? Um, it's real. It's our life. I should have wrote my words on here before I started gluing them down, which I think I'm going to do. Um, it's part of who we are at this point in time. There's nothing we can do about it. We need to deal with it. So the first one is real. We need to keep it real, right? Our next one is routine. We have ready. We have relax. We have reasonable. You know another one that we have is raw. And that one I probably should put on the back side, but it's going on the front side. So, um, and you know, sometimes the pain feels exactly that way. It just feels completely raw. It feels like um, you just, you don't know if you can make it through it. But you know what? We can. We can do it because we're strong enough. Now, don't forget, um, when you're trying, when, when if you're first, oh, let me back up. If this is your first journey with the chronic pain, meaning if you're new to this, if this is something that's just happened, if it's something that um, you're now realizing, oh my gosh, you know, it's getting real and here it is, um, you are not alone. And I think out of all of my messages, the biggest one I want to get across to anybody is the fact that you're not alone. There are hundreds of thousands of people out there that are living in the same situation. Oh, there's a hunk of glue. Let's stick that on there. Why not? Or a hunk of paint off the top of it. I don't know where that came from. It's just here on the desk, so we're going to glue it down. Um, but you're not alone. There's tons and tons and tons of us out there. Hmm, that'll go right there. Um, so don't give up definitely um, keep fighting and learn that it's okay it's okay um, for you to feel the way you feel we all have been there we all still go there it's just part of life at this point so um, you know with these videos I'm hoping if anything I can help somebody realize that you're not alone and the feelings that you have are normal. Um, it's okay. It's okay to feel this way. Uh, it's it's normal. It's part of life. Part of the chronic pain world. So anyways, here is my R tag. And... I love it. It's got a big long big long one on here this time all right so on our back side we have resentment restrictions rasping and real because unfortunately the pain is real you know what I want to do with these hold on I just decided they all need to be black markered outlined um and let's see, on the front side, we have routine. Make sure we keep with our routine. Uh, be ready. 
Be ready for chronic pain. Be ready for travel. Be ready for whatever it is that you need to be ready for. Um, keep it real. It is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. So it's real. See, that's what I wanted to do to him. Yeah, that's better. They look better that way. Uh, and yeah, be reasonable with yourself. Um, you know, know that it's okay. Um, and then, and relax. You know, sometimes we just have to learn to relax and let our body heal in the best way that it can at that point in time. So yeah, there's a, there's a whole lot to this chronic pain thing, isn't there? So much, so many things to be aware of and so many things to try to figure out. And yeah, it's definitely a journey in itself. All right, so there's our backside. Like I said, we've got our resentment, we've got real, we've got them all in here. So there's our backside. And then on our front side, we have to keep it real. We know it's real. We got to be ready. Um, reasonable, relaxed, routine, and raw. Raw should be on the back side, but that's okay. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's tag. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you know anybody that's in the chronic pain realm and you think they might, you know, this might help them a little bit, definitely, um, you know, send them along. So, and as always, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye.